All right, Andre, it's up to you. Why don't you lead us into this one? And I just want to say before you go ahead and take it with Fire Silver, uh, we need uh, 100 more viewers to be able to give away a free video game. So hopefully we hit that and I can give you guys a free game. Go to imbalance.tv and um, log into your accounts now. So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the man. Just uh, get some more friends to join in on the streams here. And so it is the finals of tonight's Craft Cup Light number 55. So let me just go for an all international trademark Indre introduction. This is actually the first and the last time today I'm going to do this introduction. So enjoy. Guten Abend. Buonasera. Buenas noches. Bonsoir. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good quelt. Good quelt. Grüezi wohl. Grüß Gott. Dobre vice. Dobre vice. Dabar vice. Yo estate kivanok namaste kamusta kunichiwa salam alaikum shalom and young <laughs> and the last one for the moment would be the Chinese ni hao and here we go we're still waiting in the loading screen not much has happened here on my side and uh, what's up on your side guys or fire uh, looks like everybody is still loading a quarter way through. So, so I uh, I, unfortunately, I do not have any more languages to greet everybody here. So <laughs> it looks like we have to wait. Uh, is ZVP? Is it a best of three or a best of five? I forgot once again. It should be a best of five. Okay, a BO5 it is. And I'm thinking Underdark will 3-1 lowly here. Um, you guys say lowly will win? I, I wanted Underdark to win. Yeah. Okay. So, um, the reason why I said Underdark is about to win because Loli's ZVT is much better than his ZVP. And many people currently say Underdark, uh, not Underdark, but Protoss in general, have it a little bit more easy against Zerg players. But I think it's just depending on the playstyle the most. And looks like Broadcall and Terai having some problems here out of the game. But here we go. Yep, we are into it on Zone Log Caverns. We have Underdark spawning in the north position as the Teal Protoss and down in the south, Yellow Zerg Lowly. So it will be Zone Arga Captains, probably considered the most balanced map in the map pool. And it looks like Oli is sending his first Overlord on a rally point to uh, his opponent's base and rallying it into that small dark area behind there. Meanwhile, Underdark is going to throw down a 9 pile on the range of that, just reaching the ramp and will be sending that out to scout at 9 supply. So he's feeling slightly unsafe, wants to make sure there's no sort of 7 pull push coming to start this best of 5. Yeah, absolutely. And um, now the question will be, what is Lowly going to do here? Um, he's having some... No? Okay, now, uh, I was just uh, thinking for a short moment that he might go for a 10 pull, but uh, I just didn't spot the Overlord right away, because it just popped out of the hatchery when it was not shown and the production tab anymore. So, but it still is a very, very fast pull, 12 pull coming up for Loli. Maybe he wants to just knock on the front door of Underdark's base here a little bit sooner than usual. Yeah, definitely. You're going to very, very early speed links, and... You know, with some good micro, might even be able to get it in uh, past that first overlord, or even kill the overlord if it. Uh, get the overlord, the zealot is the word I meant. How can <laughs> I was just a kill? little bit confused. So, so it's zerklings with the jetpacks basically attacking their own <laughs> overlords. <laughs> yeah, you can land an overlord to block a ramp now. It's like the new zerg wall. It's considered unbalanced, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. Zerg spawning pull is finishing up now. Looks like he is making two Zerglings, an extractor and a queen. Meanwhile, down at Underdark Space, we do see the. Uh, from looks like it that was a very late gateway, possibly 13 or 14 to supply, and he is going to put down that cybernetics core to complete half of the wall off. Just needs a zealot to complete that, um, but did get slightly supply blocked there. Um, as that pylon was a bit delayed, but he isn't on one gas at the moment. Now he's at 21 supply. Now we'll see if he is going to choose to go for a second gas. And there it is, the second gas does go down. We're not going to be seeing a one gas four gate here anytime soon, Andre. Uh, if he wants to go for a, four, a double gas four gate or one gas four gate, uh, 
which you were talking about, it's no need to just delay the gateway so much because you are not dependent on that many probes. And I mean, he's got something planned which is going for more mid-term, long-term play. The probe just got killed by those zerglings one second before it was able to get in the base. Now Underdog, of course, needs to watch out what he's doing with the Zealot. He can't allow those zerglings to get in the base. Meanwhile, now he's waiting for the sentry, chrono boosting the cybernetics core quite a lot at the same time. So. Lolly is doing a good job, and I think he just went for the super fast pull, and by super fast pull I mean the 12 pull, <laughs> uh, just to get out the queen as fast as possible. In the end, of course, some people nowadays saying um, getting the queen at the 9, 11, 10 pull is actually a little bit more economic, uh, because you can have those lava injects a little bit sooner. Yeah, definitely going to make you a real big uh, boost into the mid game if you have those very early injects because the amount of drones you can make uh, with 300 minerals stored at the bank is going to be a lot. Uh, but three gateways going down, so wow. Uh, it's going to be going for a slightly delayed four gate here. But I don't know, man. He's got a lot of gas and not much minerals at the moment. So uh, not sure what he's going to be doing with these four gates. Maybe he might be going into an early expansion with it. But, I think he's you know, going to go odd. for a fake expansion. I'm, I'm well actually, I, I yeah. saw him doing this fake expansion build before MC was doing it on the GSL, before other players were doing it on MLG, and um, Underduck was actually the first player I saw doing this weeks before it was just uh, used in all those bigger tournaments, and he was doing quite a good job. I actually never saw him lose with this build, but nice job by Lodi with the speed links to go for a surround on this one zealot. Of course, he needs to watch out. Uh, he needs to warp in some more units. He's doing is right now warping in another stock. And there we see a second pylon, but the second pylon actually could indicate that he's not going for a fake expand because uh, this pylon would not make any sense. Otherwise, it could very well be. Uh, but oh snap, pick him, uh, six banelings. Wow, I you, it's very odd to see banelings this early in a P, in a PVZ. Um, so instantly, see if he's just gonna bust down the wall and run straight in, or he could run straight into the army here. And if he hits those sentries, that's gonna do massive damage. And yes, looks like he's going for it. But nice force fields, they're going to trap off three, so he's going to go sack them into this uh, zealot, maybe, or maybe he's just going to run them all home. But no, not going to be able to take out one of those zealots as that expansion does finish up. So that was kind of a, a really failed attack there, but Underdog cancelled the expansion. You were right, man. So he's going for a uh, four gate after all. The fourth gate just finished uh, opening up so he can warp in some units. He does not have a probe at the front, so now going for the first pylon on the ray, he will place at least one, most likely two more pylons. Let's take a look. Lowly here going for the macro hatch, just cancelling it, going spine crawler crazy because this last circling here in the natural expansion of Underdog just spotted the castle. He needs to be prepared for an impossible attack. Uh, but I don't know how he will be able to defend this one right now. Me neither, man. Force Field and the ramp going to make sure no Zerglings come down and taking out all those Spine Crawlers. And Spine Crawlers and Zerglings while having a load of ropes is really the only two ways to stop uh, you know, a 4-gate at this point. And I think that, you know, Underdog's going to take this game and quite smart play there, you know, enforcing him until Zerg felt safe. He could do a, go, go in for a fast third and go into a macro game and then just cancels it straight into a four game. Very, very nice play as he does take that hatch down. And when the hatch goes down, that's pretty much, you know, one of the main nails in the coffin now for a lowly. Absolutely, and I mean, uh, what I really, really liked about the play of Underdark is that he was just not overcommitting to casting those force fields. I mean, he still got enough energy for five more force fields on the sentries. Now, some nice force fields being placed once again to kill two more drones, kill the screen, and now even all those zerglings and the remaining drones. Now, some banelings moving in from the left side. Force fields will not be casted in time, and the majority, actually nearly all of those sentries going down, but of course, because of the fact that those stalkers actually do not take that much damage uh, from those bane links, they are still alive, still able to do a lot of damage. And because of the fact that Loli is just streaming in the zerglings one by one by one, not waiting for a whole big amount, uh, those stalkers are still alive and doing a lot of damage here. Yeah, definitely. GG in Baloli will take the first game in this best of five. So, um, not just quite yet, because Underdark actually is taking the first game, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, what am I saying? You call GG and you win a game. Man, I'll just do that loads of times. 
<laughs> way to My go, bad. man. Way to go. But, yes, it looks like Underdark will take the win there and get the point. And let me go ahead and get some music on. We'll wait for the next game to go down. And 